Molly and the Mountain. Charlie and a Megan Fence. Magnificent striped hot air balloon. Every Sunday, Sunday he flew up, 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 and over the mountain. Please, Charlie, can we go to? Asked Millie. We want to see what is on the other side of the mountain, said Molly. Charlie offered a helping hand. Come on, then, in you go. Get. He said, "Millie and Molly looked at Marmalade and Tomcat. All right," said Charlie. "They can come too. It was magic. The roofs were were bright red. The river looked long and blue, and Charlie, Charlie, the trees were in striped rows. Their grass was so green, and anything." Everything looked very neat and tidy. They flowed the river, climbed over the trees, and flew up, up, up the mountain and over the top. But as far as the eye could see, there were clouds, clouds, and more clouds. The wind got. Stronger and stronger, the blue, the balloon higher and higher. I don't like this," said Charlie. "I don't like this at all. Hang on very tightly now, and don't let go." Sadly, it was not so magic. Please, can we go home now, Charlie? Cried Millie. Please, Charlie. Well, Millie. I'm doing my best," said Charlie. And down they began to go fast and fast. Millie turned green, and Molly turned green. Millie turned white. Marmalade and Tomcat's ears lay flat on their heads, and all their tummies turned inside out. Hold on, very, very tightly now. Ordered Charlie, and with a bump, the basket hit the ground. Charlie, Millie, Molly, Marmalade, and Tomcat flipped out in a pile. Let's go home now, suggested suggested Millie. We like our sight of the mountain best, said Molly. Come on, agreed Charlie. There's no place like home.